Hello, good day, my glorious families. I welcome you all to today's chapter of the day. Today's Bible reading will be taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. Therefore, be imitators of God as dearly loved children and walk in love, as Christ also loved us and gave, gave himself for us, a sacrificial and fragrant offering to God. But sexual immorality and any impurity or greed should not even be heard of among you, as is proper for saints. Obscenes and foolish talking or crude joking are not suitable, but rather giving thanks. For know and recognize this, every sexually immoral or impure or greedy person who is an idolater does not have an inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Then verse 6 has a subheading. Light versus darkness. Let no one deceive you with empty argument, for God's wrath is coming on the disobedient. Because of these things, therefore, do not become their partners, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists of all goodness, righteousness, and truth. Verse 10, testing what is pleasing to the Lord. Don't participate in the fruitless works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what is done by them in secret. Everything exposed in the light is made visible. For what makes everything visible is light. Therefore it is said, Get up, sleeper, and rise up from the, de from the dead. And Christ will shine, shine on you. That is verse 14. Let's move to the next verse. Verse 15 has another subheading. Consistency in the Christian life. Mm. So there is consistency in the Christian life. Let's see. Pay careful attention, verse 15, then to how you live. Not as unwise people, but as wise making the most of the time because the days are evil. So don't be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. And don't get drunk with wine, which leads to reckless living. But be filled, with the, but be filled by the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making music with your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of Christ. Hmm. So let's say this is a, a consistency in the Christian daily life. So this verse 15 up to verse 21 is what is expected of us on a daily basis as Christians. So you can check that out, like, you can go back and read that part again. Verse 21 and verse 22 has another subheading, and we are heading to the end of the ch chapter very soon. Okay, it says, wives and husbands. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord, because the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. He is the savior of the body. Verse 24. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives are to submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her to make her holy, cleansing her with the washing of water by the word. He did this to present the, the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle 
or anything like that. But holy and blameless. So these are what is expected of wife, I mean of husband. To so, without spots or wrinkle. To make your wife holy by watering her with the word. That's with the word of God. So husbands are expected to be like a pastor in the home. Reading the word of God to both the wife and children. Wives are meant to submit in everything. <laughs> Which means you have to be careful who you marry. Because if you marry someone who is not a child of God, you still have to submit in everything. Which means it could stop you from going to church. It could stop you from reading the Bible. It could stop, even stop you from loving God. And you still have to submit. So choose right. <clears throat> For no who loves his wife loves himself. Okay, I've not read that. He did this to present this. Okay, but holy and blameless. Verse 28. In the same way, husbands are to love their wives as their own bodies. Mm. Mm. He loves, he who loves his wife loves himself. So if you don't love your wife, or you're cheating on your wife, then you're cheating on yourself and you do not love yourself. Wives, if you're not submitting, you are going against the word of God. Okay, we'll keep digesting this. For no one hates his own flesh, but provides and cares for it. But some couples or spouses are so selfish, like self-centered, they think of themselves alone. Okay, so which means if a man does this, he hates himself, he's cheating on himself, he does not love his own body. Mm. For no one hates his own flesh, but provides and cares for it, cares for it, just as Christ does for the church, since we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two will become one flesh so what happened to those mother-in-laws and I, think, I don't think i don't think we have father-in-law who do, does that what happened to those mother-in-laws who come to their uh, my their son's home they are married um, sons with children and they will claim that is their home do we have to read these chapters to them so that they will know culture how about culture does, do we have to override the Bible? Does culture override the word of God? Because we need to really explain this well. Okay, let's move on to verse 32, which happens to be the... Okay, verse 32 and 3, 33. Those are the last verses. This mystery is profound, but I am talking about Christ and the church. To sum up, each one of you is to love his wife as himself. And the wife is to respect her husband. <clears throat> so that is the end of Ephesians chapter 5. And I love the chapter 6. That used to be my children's most common memory verse. Verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord because this is right. But the one we are used to say is, Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. I want to say thank you for joining me. I appreciate. Um, I don't know if there's any commentary. I can quickly read. It's already nine minutes. To work wisely, we must continually allow the Holy Spirit to enlighten our hearts to discover what, we, what, what God's will is, particularly as revealed through the authors of scriptures. Mm. To work in God's will, we must practice mutual love and submission in all of our relationships mutual love mm, you love me i love you <laughs> mutual love but is that what is going on in, in relationships and marriage mm -mm. selfish act cheating uh infidelity uh you know no faithfulness nothing no love you can't love your partner and still cheat on your partner i'll keep talking about it no way it's not possible if you're cheating you are a cheat. You can never, you can't love someone. Thank you. Bye.